On your mark. We need to get ready all over the world. Set. To be prepared. Something has begun and all the people of God are taking part. If you are a disciple of Jesus Christ, this is for you. Young or old, ordained or late, a starting pistol has been fired. A season of intentional discipleship is underway. And I will let Archbishop Justin explain. At the Anglican Consultative Conference in uh, 2016, they called for every province, diocese and parish in the Anglican Communion to adopt a clear focus on intentional discipleship and to produce resources to equip and enable the whole church to be effective in making new disciples of Jesus Christ. I really want to endorse that call very, very strongly indeed. It's uh, the most exciting thing we do as Christians is to bring other people to Christ. Training is important. Intentional discipleship is about deliberately living a life shaped by Jesus and his love for all people and all creation. Every day and in every aspect of life. And being ready to share that lifestyle. So we need to train and equip ourselves to think differently and behave differently because the need around the world is growing. Exciting times are all over in Southeast Asia and we are seeing thousands of souls and new believers coming into Christ. We now have a great challenge to disciple them. Even though we can baptize them, but we need more disciples to teach them. We believe that this discipleship is for the whole church, not only for the clergy, but also for the laity as well. And this is a great time that we are experiencing. We are praising God, but we need to go further into training and teaching and equipping. All around the world, people will be attracted by life shaped by Jesus. But we need to make sure we find the right way to show them and to tell them. My home, Brazil, is incredibly diverse. We have an amazing mixture of cultures here. And so it's very important that when we think about discipleship, we make sure what we do is appropriate. We must not think one style will suit everyone. We need to use different ways to interact with different cultures. It's a challenge, but it's an exciting challenge because people respond to the gospel and grow in faith, much more when discipleship is culturally relevant. So people from every culture are invited to take part in this season of intentional discipleship. And it is for all ages too. Young people are not the church of tomorrow. We are the church of today. We need to be discipled wherever we are. But that has to be done in ways that are relevant to us. That might be through social media, music, or fashion. Young people around the world are hungry for hope. We need to hear the gospel. We need to be discipled. Be intentional. Get creative young people to be involved in your discipleship plans. Be inventive and together we will reach my generation. This season of intentional discipleship is not a race for the super fit. It's not about winning, it's about joining in because your life can transform the world around you. One of the lessons we've learned in this country, in the Church of England, is what you don't do intentionally, you don't do at all, frankly. And that this is something that is not just for clergy and bishops, it's for everyone. And it's not just for those who find it easy to talk about their faith. It is that we are all to be witnesses to the life and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's something we really need to equip people to do. Every single Christian. So please, take this seriously and follow it through. Thank you.